So here I have this very interesting rational expression for you guys. And in fact, I didn't come up with this. My high school teacher, Mr. Dennis Hill, did. So, you know, this is his question, and I made out the answer choice just for you guys. Well, we are going to see how to reduce this right here. And this is so beautiful because you can see that the top and the bottom look almost the same. Except for that, we have this parentheses here, and on the bottom, we don't. And you know the deal. As always, please pause the video and try this first. You did? Cool. Well, this and that, the parentheses doesn't matter, huh? The answer is no. The answer is nasty. The answer is A. The parentheses does matter. Yeah. So now, let's see how we can do this. Firstly, because we have this parentheses, so that's pretty much a quantity, and we can actually factor that because this is just a trinomial, and we will just get x minus 1 times x minus 2. And then right here, we still have that x to the third power, all right? So quadratic trinomial, factor that, no big deal. But for the bottom, it's trickier because we see that, first off, this right here is kind of like out of order because we like to have x to the highest power goes first. So perhaps let's go ahead and just put this at first first. So let's put this at the front first. So we have 2x to the third power and then plus x squared. Then we have that minus 3x. So from here, we can talk about factoring. Notice everybody has x to the first power. So we will factor out x and then we will get 2x squared plus x to the first power and then minus 3. And then from here, we have a quadratic trinomial and then we can factor it. And let me show you guys with the tic-tac-toe method here because the coefficient of x squared is a two. So it's not as easy to factor. So let me see. Here we have two x squared plus x minus three. Go ahead and do the tic-tac-toe boxes. We need to have two x times x to get two x squared. And then to get negative three, we are going to use negative one and three. And we are going to put negative one here and three here because 2x times negative 1 gives us negative 2x. And then 3 times x gives us 3x. Together, we do end up with the positive x. So that means we have the right combination. So with that being said, we have x. And then this right here is just going to be... When we do the tic-tac-toe, remember we reacquire for the answer. So we have 2x plus 3 times x minus 1. And if you guys need more help to do this kind of questions, I do have other videos that go over how to do the tic-tac-toe factoring for quadratic trinomials. So go ahead and check that out. Link will be in the description for your convenience. But anyway, this is what we have now. And do we see it? Yeah. On the top, everything's multiplying. Likewise, on the bottom, everything's multiplying. So we can cancel out this and that because they are the same factor. Moreover, here we have x to the first power, and here we have x to the third power. So we can cancel out one of the x's. So this will be a 2. So all in all, we can put x squared in the front, like this. And then here we have x minus 2, and all divided by 2x plus 3. That's why you see that the answer is A.